or share while they're here. Um, I've done the research, and people accuse me of being a policy wonk. I wear that badge proudly. I have done the research on tax rebates. When people tell you we have to do it because they won't move here unless we do, they are not looking at the research. They are not looking at what actually happens. Um, we do not have to give tax rebates. What we have to do in order to attract business and jobs is to have good schools, well-trained labor force, good transportation network, and a nice environment for people to live in. And water. And water. That's what brings commerce. A well-run community brings commerce. All the tax rebates in the world aren't going to help you if you have bad schools, bad roads, uh, a dirty environment, and a labor force that is, is not well-trained. So I, um, th this is what I've done while I've been here. I have a proven track record. I have a record that I'm pretty proud of. Um, I have, uh, in my previous incarnation at the county attorney's office, I defended women and children and even some men against family violence. I spent a lot of time in the courtroom doing that. Also, both as a county attorney and on the commissioner's court, I uh, prosecuted polluters for fouling our environment. Um, helped pull down a $3.5 million settlement from developers in Hayes County um, for uh, fouling Hamilton Pool in Travis County. I've also been uh, uh, the vice chair of the, the CAMPO, which is the, the CAMPO, the Capital Area Metropolitan Planning Organization, and sat on Lone Star Rail and their board, as well as on the Community Action Network, because we have got to get transit shot through our region. There's no way we can continue to move everybody in a single occupant car on a highway. Um, it's cost prohibitive and it's environmentally prohibitive. So we need to start investing robustly in that. Like I said, I've got two kids, 10 and 12. I think we've got to solve the problems today so that our community is better off when they grow up and my neighbor's kids grow up and y'all's kids grow up and the next generation grows up. We can't leave these problems for somebody else. We can't keep doing the status quo ante. Um, I have an opponent in this race, it's a primary and it's going to be won or lost in the primary. And my opponent's a really nice guy and he's running on a platform of bringing everyone together. And I agree with that, we should bring everyone together, absolutely. But the time has passed for going along to get along. We need to make some hard decisions. And those hard decisions are going to take experience and courage and a real love for the work. You can't just pass through this office and do good with it. You need to know what this office does. 